Should you buy this property? Is it a good investment? Is it too risky? That's what we're going to talk about. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey guys, welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm James Wise. I'm your host. This is the show on Holton Wise TV. We work together one on one. You guys can either contact my team. You do so by sending an email to sales at holtonwise.com, giving us your phone number. We call you, figure out what you want to do, your wants, your needs, your goals, and then we try to match you with the right properties that we think make sense for you. Or, or if somebody else sent you guys properties. I offer consulting, analytics, unbiased advice. That's what I'm doing for a company out of New Jersey called AHS Consulting. They talked to a for sale by owner who sent them a package of four properties. I've already looked at two. This is the third. I'm going to be doing the fourth one after this one. This is the property, okay? Now, you guys sent me an email. Uh, you guys sent me an email with all four of these properties, and you had addressed this as 3992 East 157th Cleveland 44105. East, uh, that, that address does not exist. I believe you made an error because the actual address that does exist in Cleveland is 3992 East 57th Street, Cleveland, Ohio 44105, which is what we are looking at here. Now, this property, <coughs> what we know about this particular property is we have two units, uh, both which are two ones. We're getting seven and a quarter and rent out of one. The other is totally vacant. They're asking you $45,000. Uh, they're asking $45,000 for this thing. As far as getting that other unit rent ready, they did not tell you, or at least you did not tell me, if it's ready to rock or what condition it's in. Now, I'll tell you this. This is a very, very, very tough, difficult neighborhood. One of the worst in Cleveland. As a matter of fact, it's one of the most blighted and dangerous neighborhoods in the United States of America. So because of that, I'm going to go ahead and assume the tenant that used to live there probably screwed this motherfucker all up, right? It's probably all jacked up. So I put a renovation budget of $15,000. Typically, when we have a tenant who jacks up a duplex unit, and by the way, this duplex, this build, okay, I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these in my portfolio, right? They're all built the exact same, just a solid turn-of-the-century Cleveland duplex. The layout is a living room up front, dining room in the middle, kitchen in the back. On the other side, you got two bedrooms with a bathroom in the middle. You guys have not sent me any photos. This guy has not sent me any photos. But I guarantee goddamn tea that that is the exact layout of your duplex, okay? I could even go as far as to call in your dining room. You're going to have a nice built-in bench with two big old... Uh, shelving units right next to that because they built all these things the same, and I own hundreds of them, okay? So the building is solid. The layout is solid is what I really mean to say. The layout on this building is solid. They're all very similar, and I've renovated a ton of them, and I'll tell you about 15 Gs is what it costs to put one of these things back together after someone screws it up. Maybe they didn't screw it up. I don't know. But without that information, I'm going to give you the worst-case scenario. So it's about 15 Gs. So that means you'd be all into this investment at $60,000. Does that make sense for you? No, I don't think it does. I don't think it's a good deal. If I were you guys, I would, I would not buy this particular property, right? I don't believe there's good properties and bad properties. I think there's good properties. Every... Or, let me say it this way. Any property could be a good property if it's sold to the right person for the right price. Any property could be a bad property if it's sold to the wrong person for the wrong price. You guys are not the ideal investors for this property. Local folks that could do their own maintenance and property management, they are the people that should buy these. People that are just entering a new market, which is what you guys are doing, right? You guys are out there in New Jersey. This would be new investing for you in Cleveland. First of all, you'd be going into the highest possible risk type neighborhoods, number one. That's always difficult to do. Number two, you're completely reliant upon property managers to handle this stuff for you, right? But reputable property management companies like Holton Wise, we won't touch properties like this, right? It's too dangerous. The risk to our leasing agents who go out to the properties, too high. The risk for our maintenance guys to go out there, too high. 
when I have to uh, reach out to subs to handle specialized work, they don't want to go to these neighborhoods, right? So it's it's almost it's not worth it for companies like mine to handle it. So we turn business like this away, as do some of our competitors, right? So the only people that you'd be able to get to manage this are going to be like unlicensed illegal management companies, right? So you have an incredibly difficult tenant base. Incredibly blighted neighborhood. Almost impossible to find reputable people, and you would be brand new to the, the area and the market. I think uh, that's a complete recipe for disaster as far as performance. Even if you fix up that other unit, got another tenant in there for seven and a quarter, I don't, I don't know what you're going to make. I can't tell you, man. Because you, you, you don't have, there's nothing that can lead me to, to give you an explanation for how it's going to go. You're not going to be able to hire reputable people, man. Maybe the freaking contractor you hire to, to renovate your building goes in there and steals your hot water tanks and your furnaces. I mean, it, it's a crapshoot, right? So you can't, like, you're starting a business, really, is what you're doing. You're starting a business, and you're going to have to be hands-on with a business like this. You can't just pass the buck uh, because there's really no reputable companies that you could hire to handle all that stuff for you. So for all those reasons, I don't think you should look into this any further. If for some reason you do want to, I did pull comps for you. Now, here's a little thing I want to tell you guys about comps. Whenever I do comps in urban areas, Quarter mile radius, similar properties within the last six months. Okay, that's how you do comps. However, the extremely blighted neighborhoods in Cleveland, you know, the worst of the worst, right? Where it's the most fucked up, okay? Uh, properties don't move as frequently as in other neighborhoods. So uh, for this one, the other two I already did as well. I doubled up the time because I didn't have enough data for you, right? I did quarter mile radius by 365 days instead of 180, and I still only came out with five, five comparable properties for you. To give you a comparison, if I were to pull quarter mile cops uh, for a year's time in one of the C-class neighborhoods, you know, the neighborhoods that I own, hundreds and hundreds of duplexes that look just like this, I wouldn't have five uh, comps to go off of. I'd probably have over 100 comps to go off of, right? So you could really hammer down on that data. Here there's just like so few and far, the data so few and far between, like only five motherfuckers out there were like, yeah, it's a good idea to buy one of these properties in the last year, right? So the numbers are all over the place, 26K, 37 and a half, 43, 45, 47, right? So numbers are a crapshoot. They're all over the place. But even those numbers tell you the story that it's a bad idea if you got to spend 15 to put it back together because you'd be 60, which is well above the highest cop, right? So for all those reasons, guys, I think the prudent move for you is to move on from this investment. Do not look into it any further. And I'm going to look into that fourth property for you right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.